imagine me? Hello there. Was there something you needed? Hello. I was wondering if you would be interested in having your own shop and a house elf to help you with it. Penny's the name. Penny's mistress is selling this shop. And Penny is most eager to start working with the new owner. It might surprise you to know that Penny can sell practically anything. Oh. It would be wonderful to have a place to sell things and someone to help me. You'll be able to give Penny almost anything that you want to sell. It will be no work at all for you once the shop is up and running. If you want the shop and Penny hopes that you do, you should talk to Penny's mistress as soon as you can. Her name is Cassandra Mason. Why is your mistress selling the shop and you? Mm, Penny cannot be certain as Mistress Mason so rarely confides in her. Mm. However, she repeatedly mentions how tired she has become of trying to let the shop. She has had rotten bad luck with the last few tenants. <sighs> Are you all right? Are you holding your breath? Sometimes Penny simply needs to remind herself to stop talking. How is it you're so good at selling? Seems unusual for a house elf. Oh, before he died, Penny's previous owner, Master Mason, trusted her to do all sorts of things to help him with his shop. Penny supposes it is a bit unusual for a house elf to possess such skill. But Master Mason commanded it, and Penny was happy to oblige. Master Mason was a wonderful master. What kind of things would I be able to sell in the shop? All kinds. Anything from Essence of Disney to Mooncalf fur. If a buyer exists for something, then Penny can sell it and get the best price. Just ask Mistress Mason. <laughs> All right. I shall go and find Madam Mason. Oh, this is splendid news indeed. You won't be sorry. You can find Mistress Mason at her home on the north edge of the village. Penny does hope she gets to work with you. Hello, Madam Mason. I understand you have a shop to sell. Why, yes. Yes, I do. Are you interested? Yes, I am. I've always wanted to own a shop. How marvellous. I think you will find my terms quite generous. But, and do please forgive me for asking, don't you think you might be a tad young to own a shop? I have a knack for this sort of thing, if I do say so myself. If I can meet your terms, I hope that you'll sell to me. Well, I reckon you have the confidence needed for such a venture. And of course you'll have Penny to help you. That elf could sell tea to a troll. I assume she told you she comes with the place. She did indeed. I like you. Tell you what, I shall sell you the space for an exceedingly fair price. I think you might just be shrewd enough to make a go of it. Hmm. An exceedingly fair price for a shop and an elf. What's the catch? Huh? You are wise to be wary in business dealings. No catch, really. I simply ask that you allow me to do you the favour of buying the shop back, at a discount, of course, should your efforts fail. The last thing we need here in Hogsmeade is for one bad apple to spoil the barrel, if you get my meaning. 
Yes. An unsuccessful shop would be bad for nearby businesses, I'd imagine. Quick one, you are. Do we have a deal? It looks to be rather a mess. Why haven't other tenants been able to make a go of it there? As you've no doubt considered, running a shop is not as simple as those less savvy might think. The new owner, however, will have something that previous tenants did not. The benefit of Penny's particular prowess. Her assistance will make all the difference, I should think, in both getting the shot ready for business and ensuring its success. It does sound intriguing, but I need to consider my finances first. I'll come and find you if I'm interested. Very well, but I won't be able to keep the shop available for too long. If you do want the shop, I'd advise you to return to me as soon as possible. Madam Mason, about the shop. Yes? I've decided I'd like to go ahead and purchase the shop. I have to say I'm impressed. You are a remarkably resourceful student. I am indeed. And brave. You won't be sorry. Give me the money, and I shall get the paperwork filed immediately. Wonderful. Shall I head directly to the shop? Please do. Oh, one more thing. Since my husband died, I've not been able to bring myself to retrieve some of his personal items. They're in a chest at the back of the shop. Penny has the key. As you get organised, I would be terribly grateful if you could help an old widow and gather his things for me before you open for business. I wish you the very best of luck in your endeavours. Penny will meet you there. Well, I've done it, Penny. The shop is mine. Oh, Penny is so pleased. Penny was hoping you would be the one to purchase it. I'm glad you're here to help me. Goodness, what a kind thing to say. Penny will do all that she can to make this a success. There is much to do. The last tenant left in a bit of a rush, so we'll need to clean up and do some repairs. Well then, let's get to it. Penny is ready. Between the two of us, we should have this place up and running in no time. Repair room. Oh, I can already see the potential. Mistress Mason wanted Penny to be sure and give you this key. It opens a chest in the back room of this shop. Oh, yes. She mentioned it to me. It contains some of her late husband's belongings. Penny wonders if you should open the chest. <sighs> Are you holding your breath again? <sighs> Penny must get back to work now.
Revelio. That's odd. Why would someone store one hat in here? That's not very hospitable. Oh, goody! Someone to play with. You seem a cunning sort. What fun this will be! For me, at least. Lumos. That's new. Onwards, I suppose. What in the... Who's there? Lumos. Rebellion. Seems as if I should hang something there. Wingardium Leviosa. These lanterns must belong somewhere. Lanterns are meant to be hung on the hands. How enlightening! Hmm, you might survive a bit longer than the other. Lumos. Oh, you've come so far, so quickly. Well done. You might be just the playmate I've been looking for. I do hope you enjoy my playground. I encourage you to tell everyone about it. 
If you make it out, that is. Please try. If you get to the end, perhaps we can come to some sort of arrangement. I do want your shop to succeed, after all. What's the saying? Two seconds, every storm. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, both sides hear it to my story. I simply adore this blooming place. Don't you? You know, foliage, like most living things, won't survive for long in the darkness. Incendio. I wonder if I need to place lanterns to open these doors. Wingardium Leviosa. What's this? A game within a game? Ooh, ooh! Knight to H3. Nighty night! <laughs> That was the wrong square. I wonder if the chess pieces on the board indicate where I can't go. I can find a way to reveal the path. That wasn't too difficult. Oh, goodness! <laughs> I do hope you're having as much fun as me. I think I'll keep you around a bit longer. Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, 
I'm afraid of the dark. Doesn't worry you that I can see you, but you can't see me. It should. Rebellion. And Daniel Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Hmm, I'd offer you a seat, but I'm rearranging the furniture. Plus, don't want you getting too comfortable for a hostel. Wingardium Leviosa. Lumos. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Yes. 
Brilliant. Ah, a worthy playmate. Well done, me. Wingardium Leviosa. Confringo, Expelliarmus, Incendio, Bombardo. Confringo, Expelliarmus, Incendio. Confringo, Expelliarmus. Bombardo. Incendio. Lumos. In the scholarly route. You'll need more than you've learned from books to best me. Lumos. Oh, deja vu.
Hmm, running in circles, are we? Perhaps you should retrace your steps. What was that? Lumos. Wingardium Leviosa. Lumos. Incendium. Bombarder. Lumos. Guardian Leviosa. It's always good to have a different perspective on things. We got in Leviosa.
Revelio. Repair her. Accio. Descender. Depulse. Accio. Descender. Daniel Leviosa. So much fun to be had. My head is spinning. Lumos.
can. Ta-ta for now! Inordinately clever friend appeared to have traversed this seemingly never-ending dungeon relatively unscathed. And now I suppose you'll want to go. Everyone leaves me, usually in a straitjacket, never to return. I'm starting to take it personally. I'm tired of having no one to play with. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what. I'll make you a deal. If you can match wits with me now and agree to give me unfettered access to the shop for, say, one day a month to have a little fun, I'll sign a contract. Pursue it to which, um, uh, let me see, I will blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, uh, leave you and your customers alone at all other times, etc., etc. <laughs> you get to shop, I get my chaos. Sound acceptable? Excellent! <laughs> Let the games begin! Catch us, catch, catch! But catch us, catch us! We got in the Viosa. Expelliarmus. Incendio. More fire. Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. 
so meticulously crafted. Such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon. I wouldn't call it fun, really. Wouldn't you? Hmm. To each their own, I suppose. So, about the contract? I am a poltergeist of my word. Just to be clear, what does this agreement entail, specifically? Ugh, pay attention. You guarantee that I can have my fun at least one day each month without fuss. I let you work the rest of the time, mostly, in peace. Why would you enter into such an agreement? Much as I love banging about the place, it's no comparison to seeing customers' faces when I bonk them on the heads with a chocolate frog. But one doesn't really understand the value of an audience until one is without. Very well. I shall agree to your contract with one small addendum. Hooray! No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait, did you say one small addendum? I did. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. Pleasure doing business with you. You've worn me out. Oh, well done. I have a feeling about you. I have to admit, Cassandra did a wonderful job finding the perfect playmate. Hello, Penny. Oh, Penny is so glad you're back. You knew exactly where I was going when I entered that chest. Penny was beginning to think yet another shopkeeper was going to end up in St. Mungo's. Another shopkeeper? St. Mungo's? I think you should explain, Penny. <gasps> Penny, please stop holding your breath. 
Tell me what's going on. <sighs> oh, please forgive Penny. Penny is forbidden from telling you anything. But how can you be forbidden from telling me what's going on? I purchased this shop. I... Penny is confused. Penny thought that if you came back, you would own the shop. You should have told me the truth and punished yourself as necessary. I need to go and find Officer Singer. Penny is so sorry. Penny wanted to tell you everything. Truly. Surely Officer Singer will know what to do. Penny will wait right here. I'm just trying to practice. Rebellion! Officer Singer, I have some information you might be interested in. Ah, good to see you again. What can I do for you? Cassandra Mason sold me her shop and then tried to drive me mad in a haunted dungeon. I... Cassandra Mason sold you her shop. I am perfectly capable of owning a shop. More importantly, did you not hear the bit about the dungeon? No, no, I, I heard that bit too. And, according to the house elf that came with the shop, she has done this sort of thing before, repeatedly. Hmm. I wondered what was going on. She seems to have had a great deal of trouble keeping a tenant in that shop. In any event, these are serious accusations indeed. Perhaps a little visit with Cassandra is in order to clear this all up. Shall we? Hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new tenant. Cassandra, it's my understanding that you sold your shop and your elf to this student. Now they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. <laughs> oh, uh... <gasps> Stop her! <gasps> Business with a wily student. <laughs> Such a sad excuse. Hang on. Stupid boy. Expel the officer. Can bring us. No! Oh! 
I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. Incarcerate! You don't know what you're doing! <sighs> don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon never crossed my mind. Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Checking that house elf of yours, she's probably terrified. Spoony little traitor myself! I should have known it was you! Silencio. Oh, and not to worry. Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. On her way to Azkaban. Thank you, Officer Singer. Best of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. I have what I hope will be good news. Officer Singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Oh, well, that is good news. Penny is so relieved. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. Penny promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner. Penny, I found an item of clothing in the dungeon that I'd like to give you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Penny never thought she would be given clothing and become a free elf. It's my pleasure. You deserve it. Of course, Penny will be staying on and managing the shop for you. Penny, you're free. You can do anything you've ever wanted to. But all Penny has ever wanted to do is run a shop with a friend and sell to the villagers in Hogsmeade. If that's what you want to do, Penny, then nothing would make me happier. I'm genuinely glad you'll be staying on. Penny is too. All that's left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop and Penny will take care of the rest. I choose stitches and drafts. Excellent choice. Have a look outside. Thank you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny. We'll be closing the shop by nine o'clock every night. <laughs> 